In our series, A New Normal, we'll look at how the pandemic is dramatically changing our everyday lives as some movie theaters start to reopen. Delays in the release of big movies like the latest James Bond film have forced hundreds of others to close once again. More than 500 regal cinemas in the U.S. will temporarily close on Thursday. The parent company, that Cineworld, says it's also closing more than 100 theaters in the U.K. Around 45,000 employees will be affected by that. That's not good. Maria Villarreal shows us the big changes that some movie theaters are making just to stay open and keep the moviegoers safe. From the moment you step inside, it's clear things are different. We'll just come in, walk up to one of our kiosks, and they're going to select our movie. We'll do the comeback classic of Jurassic Park. The selection is slim, mostly classics with a cult following. This is all new, too. This is all new. All this plexi is brand new, and you'll see it throughout our theater. Hanging next to upcoming movie posters are now big, bright reminders of the pandemic, requiring masks at all times. Megan Simpler is the chief cleaning and safety monitor at this Cinemark outside Dallas. Megan, I can't believe I'm seeing this. Is this true? So we are following the CDC guidelines and recommendations. No refills, but awesome pricing. She helps keep the hallways clean and filled with hand sanitizer. And after every show, monitors a crew that disinfects every seat. The changes are definitely a draw for these families. A little piece of normal and a little piece of something special for them to get to do after they worked so hard in school this week. What are you most excited about? A movie. Yeah. <laughs> and the popcorn. All I have for you is a word. Tenet. A handful of movies have been released during the pandemic, like Christopher Nolan's Tenet. But it fizzled at the box office. And the film industry has lost billions of dollars so far this year. It's been a big issue for the studios, which are also dealing with the problem of how do we start producing films again. This is going to be a pretty big financial hit all the way around for the industry. There is some hope with the growing popularity of drive-in movie theaters. <laughs> But as the fall and winter months approach, traditional movie theaters hope box office sales will make a comeback. Cinemark has reopened more than 200 movie theaters across the country this summer. They started promoting private watch parties and rolled back concession stand prices. Thanks. The resurrection of the big screen is sort of like watching the ultimate underdog methodically plot against an invisible villain. In this case, the coronavirus. It's been very difficult financially. Mark Cerati is Cinemark's chief executive officer. He says the company had to rethink how they do business to survive. The popcorn is less expensive, the soda drinks are less expensive, and we're trying to just encourage people to come back and to experience how good it really is. Megan and her team are hopeful nostalgia will be enough to draw customers back in. When the lights go down in this theater, what sort of change do you see? The magic starts to happen. They start to let go of what's going on on the outside world and forgetting every everything and immersing themselves with the dimension or the universe that's being played on their screen. For CBS This Morning, Mireya Villarreal, Plano, Texas. I'm glad they're trying that. I so miss going to the I, we, all, we all could use a little magic right we now. Really and could. I, I'm with you. I miss the movies. I really do. I know. It makes me long for a theater right now in New York. I want somebody to tell us, what's the best seat to sit in yes. in a pandemic? Yes. Do you sit in the back? Do you the sit one, in the front? The Do you sit by the door? Box, I think, I think probably the, the front, box. right? Because they never... Well, yeah. I don't know. We're the way back. That's what I'm... Yeah, I, I yeah. think that's I a good know. question. And I'm with you. What you said yesterday about missing movie popcorn. Well, so apparently, I heard from a lot of people on social media, apparently there are a lot of theaters that are selling takeaway popcorns. You just walk up. You don't have to buy a ticket. The theater's not even open, but they'll give you yeah. the popcorn, uh, and you're uh, supporting them. Now the big question is, do you get butter on it, too? I love it when you can get butter on the popcorn, don't you? 